Masonic, the magic prank show. Now, here he is, right? This is the guy who got hypnotised, yeah? And I wanted to do a part... Well, I should have got it in part one, really, but it don't matter anyway. Anyone who's lucky enough to watch part two, go look at part one. But he's been rapidly induct, inducted, whatever the word is, into being hypnotised, yeah? He's now waking... They're now waking him up the next day, OK? So they've kept him asleep. They've transported him, like, 100 miles, yeah? And now waking him up the next day. So as far as he knows, he now thinks he's now being, like, put into the future, if you get what I mean. You know, they're now waking him up as a prank, obviously. But this is what they can do to you. You know, a person, any person, any uniform who you trust, a policeman, a doctor, social services, all of that malarkey, any and each and every one of them that's a Freakmason, learn this in the lodge. Yeah, and they reinforce their little triggers on you. So just be careful who you who you're allowed to touch you. You know what I mean? Look. Now remember, he was in the doctor's surgery. They've now put him into a container. All right. So as far as he knows, he's just been asleep in the pod. Yeah. And there he is. Look. See, they put him into a container, yeah, you know, like a, uh, you know, like what they put on ships, you know, where they ship all their children in, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, this is what it is. So he's now waking up for the first time. Obviously, they're making out it's in the future. He's been stored in a container for like two hundred years, type thing, yeah. But watch this. He's going, what the fuck? See, now they're making him think there's an asteroid been hit, so I see uninhabitable, but he's gone, been like, you know, oversleeping in the apocalypse, look, you see? So he's been sleeping for hundreds of years. He thinks he's woke up in the future, and everyone he knows is now gone. So this is what I'm saying. These freak masons do. They keep rapidly inducting you, yeah, to make you think you're their friends, you know what I mean? To make you think, you know, that they're the best things within your community, do you know what I mean? And that's the secret of it, and that's why it's caution, and cautious, always profane, do you know what I mean? Boom, you can hypnotise him, you can do whatever you fucking want with that person, do you know what I mean? And anyone who becomes close to being awake, they're on you, do you know what I mean? And they're inducting you back and putting you out under that sleep, do you know what I mean? Don't let anyone touch you. Today, President Musk urging folks not to return into the contaminated areas of the country. Oh, you got to be kidding me, bro. <laughs> Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Hello, can you guys hear me? And here we come out of the container, look, you see? And they've took, obviously, the container was there, look. And he thinks he's, see, look, now he's breaking down, look, you see? But remember this, they're doing this to you on a soft basis, yeah? That You know, when they're inducting you. And trust me, yeah, if you don't go back to the, oh, into the 80s or 80s, just before the 90s, yeah, 18, uh, 1980s, 19, 19, yeah, 1980, yeah, I think it was 1980s. In the 1980s or the 1990s, yeah, right, there was a case, yeah, because I was in jail with the person, yeah, and these rich movie stars, not movie stars, like well-to-do people, right, yeah, he was hypnotising this girl and putting her in rapid induction, right, and he hypnotised me in the jail, yeah, do you know what I mean, I don't know what he did, but I can, I've, been, I've had it a couple of times, right, yeah, um, 
I can say a bit more, but, but I, that's in other videos, right? Yeah, so this isn't just something new to me. This is fucking, like, been done to me, yeah? But the guy who was in jail, and I suppose you could look it up, yeah? He was from London. He was putting this girl who was well-to-do with, like, a TV star or a movie star. She was a rich girl anyway, and he was forever putting her under induction, yeah? And, like, using that hypnosis to keep her entrapped. Do you know what I mean? And in love with him type thing. I can't remember what the case is or his freaking name now. That's in my files, you know. Obviously, they're not here, so I can't just go look them up. But um, they're on my back drives, do you know what I mean? This guy, yeah, because obviously there's a scenario with him and what, like, um, what was going on with me at the particular time before I knew they were gang stalking, drug dealing, perverts, and all that sort of shit, you know what I mean? But. Again, like I said, this is what this is the freak masons that did that. Do you know what I mean? And he was paid in the jail drug money. Do you know what I mean? To fucking uh, hypnotize me. Do you know what I mean? Like you know, it's just like this weird fucking you know thing. You know, it's like paranoia schizoid type thing. Yeah. Anyway, that's another story. But the point of the matter is, they do this on you. You know what I mean? And that's a fucking hundred percent fact. I know that. That's a fact. OK, and like I said, this guy in the 80s, 1980s, 1990s was doing it to this girl. It was in London. She was from a well to do family and he was always hypnotizing her, you know, to be in love with him in that. You know what I mean? In the end, they sussed and caught him out. Do you know what I mean? He got put put in jail for it and then he got shipped to Nor uh, like to the Norwich jail. Do you know what I mean? Well, I can't remember. I'll look the case up if I find it, but you can look it up yourself. I, you know, why have I got to talk shit? I won't be talking about it, you know what I mean, if it wasn't a fact, which it fucking is, do you know what I mean? But there you go. But this is what they do. Obviously, they've now woke him up, but this is what Freakmasons do to you. Hell, brother. <laughs> you know what I mean? And he thinks he's woke up in the future. Look, he ain't got a fucking clue. And this is how they rapidly induction you, and they learn this in the lodge. They learn hypnosis. So you, so if they get a girlfriend, they can, you know, keep her on board. Do you know what I mean? Oh, you love. They're not. The girlfriends are not in love with them because they're fucking thinking they're in love with them because they keep inducting them and hypnosing them. Do you know what I mean? And this is what it's all about. You know. And obviously, like I said, they sow fear into you. They can sow love into you. Do you know what I mean? But you don't know they're fucking doing that to you because you're profane. You're without the temple. Do you see what I mean? So just be careful who you allow to touch you especially if there's a man or a woman that's a freak mason and if you don't know them just don't fucking trust it because that's a fact okay have a great day my profane friends